New at noon, Wake Tech wants to lead the way in bio... I'm going to screw this up because it's a heck of a word. Biomechatronics. Sounds it, right. It's a field of study that combines engineering and biology. CBS 17's Brea, Holling Brea Hollingsworth is live from the Wake Tech Beltline Education Campus in Raleigh with the new program taking place to help students get jobs in this field. Brea, hopefully Bill said it right. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. Hard word to say, Bill. You did it perfectly. Wake Tech presented the first group of people chosen to take part in their biomechatronics training program. Nine students signed on with three businesses, including Eli Lilly, Fujifilm, and CSL Sec Securius. These students are training to become advanced maintenance technicians. Through the program, they'll learn skills in mechanical and electrical engineering, motor controls, and more, all used to help repair smart pharmaceutical and biotechnology manufacturing equipment. As you can imagine, like many skilled jobs, they are high in demand, especially in North Carolina. If you're ever in a biopharma facility, you will see it's the most high tech of any type of facility. You know, the clean room technology, but the advanced technology facilities that go into making drugs. And so that's a special level of skill. I want to be in calibrations or process um, maintenance. I want to work on the machines inside the pharmaceutical companies that deal with the influenza vaccines. Now, after eight months, students will transition into full, uh, full transition into full-time on-the-job training at uh, one of the companies. Apprentices are paid a salary starting on day one. In Raleigh, Bray Hollingsworth, CBS 17 News. They deliver, deliver, deserve a little something extra <laughs> just for being able to pronounce that word. I'm still stuttering because of it. Uh, Brea, thanks so much.